Okay, we couldn't stop laughing while watching this clip, and we believe you will burst out laughing too. This is a Russian robot, and it genuinely looks like a drunk guy being escorted to the police station. But then check out the Tesla bot performing on stage at the recent 2025 shareholder meeting. It actually danced with Elon Musk, showing off some really smooth and professional moves. We mean it danced significantly better than before. However, the robots on stage were still just the version 2.5, an incomplete test experimental version. The official retail version will be the Optimus Gen 3, set to launch in Q1 next year. This will be Tesla's first commercial robot product, with a design that is 70% human-like. Elon Musk said it will be like a person in a robot outfit. When you see Optimus 3, yeah. Uh, you, it, it will seem as though that there's someone, like a, like a person in a robot outfit, um, which is how we started with Optimus. Elon Musk revealed that the Tesla bot Gen 3 will start with around 1,500 useful tasks and expand to as many as 3,000 tasks in subsequent updates. Meanwhile, the Optimus Gen 4 is what we should really be discussing, as it will be a more advanced, feature-rich version, nearly twice as intelligent as version 3. The number of useful tasks will go up to 5,000, and it may even be capable of becoming a surgical robot with near-absolute precision. As Elon Musk shared at the meeting there, the future of surgery will be done by robots like Optimus, not by human hands. Um, and then Optimus, uh, Optimus 4, you know, that, that ho hopefully starts production in 27, and then Optimus 5 in 28, so it's kind of like an annual release cycle with significant improvements Optimus will ultimately be better than the best human surgeon with a level of precision that, that isn't possible, that, that, that is beyond human. However, the Optimus Gen 4 is scheduled to go on sale in 2027, while the Optimus Gen 3 will be available next year. So, what is the official price? Will the Tesla bot really be able to cook, wash dishes, or clean our homes for us? Why did Elon Musk call it a real homemaker? Here is what you need to know about the Tesla bot update. Do you think robots can truly take jobs away from humans? Just last month, Elon Musk posted on X that AI and robots will replace all jobs. Working will be optional, like growing your own vegetables instead of buying them from the store. This statement has genuinely given us a lot to think about. Yeah, we feel a mix of fear and excitement. Recently, we have continually seen new humanoid robots being introduced from China, the US, and many European countries but most of them look rather crude and perform clumsy, comical actions that make everyone burst into laughter. In contrast, people are genuinely paying attention to the Tesla bot because it is arguably the most well-rounded humanoid robot in terms of both design and dexterity. We are not saying the Tesla bot is currently the best humanoid robot, but it is certainly garnering the most attention following the Tesla shareholder meeting event. Elon Musk has made some insane announcements about this robot. He is confident that Optimus will be the biggest breakthrough in human history, as each robot can work continuously, tirelessly, without needing rest, and will create an economic abundance where people will no longer have to work to exist. Tesla plans to manufacture this robot in huge volumes, making it even more ubiquitous than the mobile phone. So uh, the, 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 the scale of, of, of Optimus, like I said, that's really going to be something else. Um, I think it's going to be the biggest product of all time, by far. Yeah. So, like bigger than cell phones, bigger than anything. Tesla CEO also emphasized, the only way to eliminate poverty and inequality on a global scale is through this army of robots. But actually Optimus will actually eliminate poverty. Optimus will actually give people incredible medical care. Okay, we all know that Optimus was originally introduced by Tesla back in 2021 but it didn't receive much attention because it hadn't yet proven its ability to perform tasks. The initial prototypes also had a rather poor and heavy design, but clearly everything changed when Tesla developed the Optimus 2.5, and by 2025, people were genuinely amazed by what this robot has achieved. Over the past few years, Tesla has almost silently torn down and rebuilt Optimus from the inside out. Gone are the slow, stiff movements of the 2021 to 2022 versions. The current Optimus has become an extremely sophisticated mechanical and artificial intelligence system, where every movement is smooth, precise, and purposeful. Leaked videos show that Optimus 2.5 can not only walk and stand,
but also self-balance when impacted, perform delicate operations with its fingers, sort objects, and even self-learn skills through AI simulation. The Tesla bot Optimus has shown significant progress in performing useful household tasks, aiming to affirm its role as a future home assistant. The demonstrated capabilities include basic cleaning tasks such as vacuuming floors, taking out the trash, and wiping countertops with a cloth. Furthermore, Optimus has also demonstrated the dexterity needed for a home environment through kitchen manipulation, specifically controlled stirring in a pot, alongside upgrades to its hands that allow for more intricate operations, such as the goal of folding laundry and handling small objects. Over the past few months, it has also shown the ability to serve popcorn at a Tesla dinner, distribute Halloween candy, and a variety of other tasks. But as you know, these versions are all just Optimus 2.5. So, it makes you wonder, just how much more insane will the higher-end versions be? As mentioned earlier, Optimus Gen 3 is set to launch in Q1 next year, and it won't resemble a typical robot, as it will look like a person in a robot outfit and Elon Musk asserts that you will literally have to poke it to believe it's a robot. This indicates that the version will feature an extremely high level of sophistication, with all lines and details of the model almost completely concealing any wires, actuation systems, or joints. Elon Musk has also previously hinted that its movements will be incredibly natural, fluid, and virtually indistinguishable from a human's. Furthermore, there are rumors that the Tesla Bot 3 will be equipped with an electronic OLED screen on its face, integrated with Grok voice capabilities and feature extremely human-like hands. Like, if, if Optimus, I think, probably achieve 5x the productivity of a person per year because it can operate 24-7. Um, it doesn't even need to charge. It can operate it tethered, uh, so it's, it's plugged in the whole time. Beyond the home environment, Tesla has also tested the robot in a simulated manufacturing setting, pinching and releasing components, organizing trays of goods, assembling tiny details, any task requiring the dexterous hands of a human, Optimus can handle. Some engineers have shared that they put Optimus on tasks where even new human factory workers were fumbling, and the robot handled them so smoothly that everyone was left in silence. Recent reports on the Tesla Optimus Gen 4 suggest that, instead of altering the design, this new version will focus on internal engineering improvements, making the robot operate more efficiently and achieve higher standards. Although the external appearance of Optimus Gen 4 will remain consistent with Gen 3, the technical upgrades it offers promise to create a significant difference. Specifically, the operating time of Gen 4 will nearly double compared to the previous generation, increasing from 7 hours to 12 hours. This allows the robot to work longer without needing a recharge, a crucial factor for optimizing work efficiency, especially in industrial settings. Furthermore, Optimus Gen 4's movement speed will be significantly faster, enhancing its ability to move flexibly and quickly in tasks requiring both precision and speed. This not only improves work performance, but also makes the robot more useful in situations demanding rapid handling. Notably, Gen 4's hands will have much better dexterity than Gen 3, allowing it to perform jobs that require high precision, such as assembling small components or tasks requiring delicate manipulation. For instance, while Genesis 3 might be able to fetch a beer from the fridge for you, Optimus Genesis 4 will be fully capable of opening the cap and pouring it for you. That's the difference. However, with these improvements, the price of Optimus Gen 4 will be at least $20,000 higher than Gen 3. This is entirely reasonable when considering the features and enhancements it provides. Elon Musk has made a bold prediction. Once Tesla hits the milestone of producing over 1 million units per year, the cost of each Optimus robot could drop to around $20,000. If Tesla pulls this off, it could trigger a true revolution in robotics and automation. At that price, Optimus robots could become a fixture in homes and businesses, performing a wide range of tasks, from industrial labor to healthcare, hospitality, and even providing support for the elderly or disabled. Musk didn't stop there. He laid out Tesla's most ambitious production goal yet, a manufacturing line capable of building 1 million robots annually in Fremont, followed by scaling up to 10 million, then 100 million, and ultimately, maybe even on Mars, a billion robots each year. It might sound far-fetched, but Musk is serious, emphasizing that this isn't some lofty fantasy Tesla is gearing up for the fastest production ramp of any large, complex manufactured product in history. In his typically playful way, Musk even suggested that instead of sending criminals to prison, society could give them a free Optimus robot to watch and prevent them from committing crimes. Beneath the humor, however, 
is Musk's serious vision for a future of security, one that's humane, tech-driven, and free from the need for imprisonment. While many investors may remain skeptical, Musk insists that this isn't some far-off fantasy. Tesla is already building real robots that can walk around the office 24-7, recharge themselves, and operate autonomously without supervision. This is no longer just a demo. It's proof that mass production is on the horizon. Elon believes we can scale the global economy by tenfold, even hundredfold, a vision so powerful that it could completely disrupt traditional economic models. But with that promise comes a host of challenges. Mass producing millions of robots requires vast supply chains, sophisticated components, software, cybersecurity, and strict cost control. While a robot might one day replace a doctor, it will also spark debates about ethics, privacy, and employment. For this technology to succeed, Tesla must prove it is safe, transparent, and ultimately built to serve humanity, not replace it. That means Tesla must build nearly every key component in-house, from actuators to control systems, driving vertical integration to new heights. It's an enormous challenge, one that only a company with Tesla's scale and manufacturing expertise could even think of attempting. But, beyond the technical hurdles of engineering and mass production, one of the most pressing concerns Tesla faces in developing Optimus is ensuring the robot's safety Elon Musk has been vocal about this, repeatedly stressing how critical it is to get this right. The safety of robots operating in real-world environments, interacting with humans and handling delicate tasks, cannot be compromised. It's a responsibility Tesla takes seriously, and Musk has made it clear that they are doing everything necessary to ensure that Optimus will be safe, reliable, and ready for widespread use. I think we have to be careful about Optimus being potentially uh, used uh, in ways that are bad, because uh, that is one of the possible things to do. So, Optimus is far from just another machine. It's a sophisticated humanoid AI system designed to perceive, move, and interact seamlessly in human environments. This level of complexity makes it a prime target in today's ever-evolving global cybersecurity landscape. If the control systems, sensor data, or decision-making algorithms of Optimus were ever compromised, the impact wouldn't be limited to physical damage. It could directly endanger human safety. Picture thousands of Optimus robots working in critical settings like factories, hospitals, or homes. Just one software vulnerability could enable hackers to take control, turning these robots into potential agents of disruption or harm. For example, you could ask Optimus to fetch a specific medicine but a compromised command could result in the wrong one being handed to you. This is why Elon Musk and Tesla are building a comprehensive, multi-layered security ecosystem. It includes data encryption, real-time monitoring, AI firewalls, and automatic safety lock mechanisms that activate whenever abnormal behavior is detected. Tesla also plans to implement secure remote control protocols so humans can immediately intervene if a robot steps outside its programmed limits. However, there's an added complexity that sets Optimus apart from traditional machines. Unlike electric vehicles or conventional software, Optimus is capable of learning and self-adjusting its behavior through machine learning. This ability makes it even more challenging to ensure the robot doesn't learn the wrong things or get tampered with during its training process. Every leap forward in Optimus's cognitive capabilities also increases the potential security risks. That's why Tesla's approach must tightly integrate artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and tech ethics. Elon Musk has stressed that Optimus must be entirely safe before it's ever made available to the public, a standard that reflects both Tesla's commitment to innovation and its responsibility toward user safety. Of course, we need to make sure Optimus is safe and everything, but, but I, I do think we're headed for a world of sustainable abundance. Currently, most people still frequently compare Boston Dynamics, Atlas, and Optimus. Many argue that Boston Dynamics will win this game because they have many years of experience. Honestly, we shouldn't be comparing these two humanoid robots because, fundamentally, each represents two different developmental directions, with distinct goals and philosophies. While Atlas focuses on agile movement and spectacular demonstrations, Optimus aims to optimize cost efficiency and practical application in everyday tasks. Boston Dynamics Atlas is primarily designed for research into flexibility, and comprehensive body locomotion. With its LiDAR and camera sensor system, Atlas can perform complex movements like backflips, jumps, and navigating rough terrain. This robot stands out for its extremely fast reflexes and agility in situations of imbalance, 
highlighting its superiority in motor capabilities. But the Tesla Optimus has an entirely different objective. While retaining the humanoid robot design, Optimus is optimized to serve tasks like transportation, working in manufacturing environments, and performing everyday household chores. It is a classic example of applying AI to mass production with optimized costs for consumers, aiming for a price point under $20,000, a figure accessible to more factories and families. Optimus can perform tasks such as folding clothes, sorting small objects, and picking up items without breaking them. These abilities are highly practical in a working environment. The biggest difference between these two robots lies in the design philosophy. Atlas prioritizes high performance, agility, and the ability to execute complex techniques, but it is less concerned with cost or everyday applicability. Tesla's Optimus, despite lacking the spectacular demonstrations of Atlas, focuses on practicality, with the ability to work continuously and assist humans in repetitive tasks. Tesla's goal is to rapidly and effectively integrate the robot into real-world applications. While Atlas aims to be a research and testing tool, Tesla's Optimus is a product ready to serve humanity, with the capability to assist in manufacturing work and even household chores. This clearly reflects Tesla's long-term strategy, not just research and development but mass production, turning the robot into an indispensable part of daily life. This difference also highlights two distinct paths in the humanoid robot industry, one focusing on high performance and the other pursuing a practical, cost-effective route aimed at widespread service to people. Xpeng is also moving toward direct competition with Tesla, not only by manufacturing electric vehicles, but also by expanding into the humanoid robot sector. Xpeng has developed the Iron Humanoid Robot version, which features a more feminine appearance. Xpeng announced it will begin mass production of its humanoid robots in 2026, utilizing solid-state batteries and three proprietary Turing AI chips developed by the company. The Xpeng CEO also predicts that the number of robots the company sells over the next 10 years will exceed the number of cars. Oh my god, as you can see, the humanoid robot race is truly heating up, much like the EV market did. As we said at the beginning of the video, we feel both fear and excitement regarding Elon Musk's statement that AI and robots will replace jobs. We are afraid because many basic human jobs could easily be replaced by Optimus, and people could lose their livelihoods. This is the reality. On the other hand, we are excited because we will soon have intelligent robots that can assist humans. We are always busy on weekends, and Optimus could help us with some chores, or even all those boring tasks. But the truth is, what Tesla has demonstrated is still at the prototype level. The robot can walk, bend over, move light objects, and perform basic operations, but it is still a long way from the scenario of replacing human labor. So we still have to wait for Tesla's next steps. Goodbye and see you soon.